Hey everybody, so um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a really long time um, and I've finally gotten the chance to do it. I'm uh, hooking up with Dave Marshall Smith, the trail builder of Bone Shaker, and we're going to do a trail preview of Bone Shaker. So without further ado, um, we're going to get a little history on the trail from Dave and uh, then we're just going to, we're going to ride it. All right, so Dave, tell me a little bit about, uh, about Bone Shaker. So Bone Shaker is, uh, I guess, kind of my legacy project as a trail builder. I think I probably walked through here for the first time about eight years ago. And uh, we were looking for ski lines at the time and kind of taken by the terrain and couldn't resist the opportunity to use some of these awesome rock features to make a really cool trail. So the idea with the trail is, uh, is definitely a double black diamond. The features are big and in that sense they're fairly high consequence. So you do have to be a little bit careful when you're riding this trail and take your time, scope out the features, scope out the lines, make sure you're comfortable riding this kind of stuff. Yeah. You'll notice at the beginning of the trail we have two features. This guy here, the main line, and then our B feature to the side, which is a little bit smaller. So the idea with these two things is they're the filters for the trail. If you show up up here and you feel like you can't ride either of these things, there's a pretty good chance you're going to be walking your bike an awful lot on this trail. So we really appreciate for people to, you know, look at the features, make sure you're comfortable with them. And if you're not, maybe turn around mm -hmm. and choose another trail. Yeah, enough enough chit chat, I think. Let's, so uh... Uh, yeah, so first feature. Yeah, we have our big drop-in bridge here. Got a couple options on this thing. Um, obviously, it was built as with the rest of the trail. You know, there there aren't really any mandatory gaps per se on the trail. There's a couple small ones. They're always marked clearly, but you know, most of these features that we call jumps are rollable for the most part. Uh, so first option here is just to come in nice and slow on the rock. The granite here is super grippy if you have good tires. You can almost come to a stop on it. Uh, you know, check your speed into the bridge and then just nose in a little bit and roll out of this thing. The other option that a lot of people have taken to doing is just lifting the front wheel a little bit off the front of the bridge here mm -hmm. and kind of airing down onto the rock or down onto the dirt. Yeah. And slow, lots of grip, and then just unweight a little. Nice little hop for Dave. Nice. Woo! Nice little hop for Dave. Now we're flowing down to the second feature. First feature was the bone shaker drop, which we're doing right now, and then we're moving on to the trifecta, which is a multi sort of line choice place. Many options. Because options are the spice of life. <laughs> so are loops. <laughs> Ooh. Doink. All right. And we are at the trifecta. Originally, when I came through here, basically we got a big rock ridge through here. And the idea was to put a drop somewhere along here. So we chose this one because it kind of had the best face going into it. Nice straight line for the run out. Yeah. Then we had our easier go around. And in scraping this thing off, we realized, well, there's another rock option right here. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the trifecta. Awesome. All right. So here we have the drop line. There's Dave for scale. It's a good five, six feet. Yeah. You know, I'm, I don't think I'd want to land up there. So let's say we're here. It's a good six, seven, yeah. six. Um, then that shoots you out into a nice little right hand hook of a berm and then uh, Bob's your uncle. Yeah, nice black corner afterwards to yeah. stay on your toes. And then we'll move over to the, I don't know what this would be called, like multi-stage rock roll situation. Yeah. Yet to be named. Yeah. Add your suggestions in the comments section. Cool. Yeah, there you go. Add some suggestions. So you've got like a double rock roll there, a little bit of a compression in the middle, some roots, you come out of here. And you got this little guy here, which always gets me. I always get bucked on this one. I yep. don't know why. So basically, if you're coming through here at speed, you're not going to touch that rock. That's kind of the, I think that's my because mistake. Because the rock sets you wrong. It yeah. bucks your back wheel up that's a little exactly bit. What and then you've got that is. big rock and kind of a little bit of a hole down there. Yeah. So you actually want to take off like here and then just yeah. catch the tranny so you can get your wheels down before that stuff down there. Okay. Yeah.
And Dave's demoing the big drop. Nice and easy coming in. Nice little hop. Boom, corner. Nice. Coming in. Nice hop. Onto the lily pad. Feature number three, the lily pad of doom. I'm like more nervous about this than the boner log. <laughs> Which is so silly. So. I've done it a million times. Yeah. But <laughs> it's awkward. Anyways, as you were saying, this feature is going to get a little bit of love soon, right? Oh yeah, okay. a lot of love. Cool. Um, lot of love. So there's pretty much, there's two lines here. There's the easy workaround line and there's this rock lily pad feature. Be sure to brake check before, because if you come in at trail speed, you're gonna overshoot the rock and go right into the hump at the end. Yeah. Which so I've almost I done. <laughs> if you feel like you're flowing in and you get to that corner without too much effort, yeah. one, maybe two pedal strokes on the flat there and you're good to go. Yeah, good yeah, call. You basically wanna just get on the rock and you're gonna be off by the time your rear wheel touches it again. Exactly. So let's, let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so that pretty much does it. We're gonna flow it like the uh, the lower half of bone, or the upper half of bone shaker. We're gonna transition over into the lower half now. At the May box. Yeah, at the May box spot. Okay. So uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm going to do the step up up there. Yep, me too. Okay. I have cased that step up quite a few times. Oh yeah. Or or just like gone right into the tree after. Oh, I told you about that tree as well. Came so friggin' close last time. Hey, get out of here. Getting hold of my shoulder. <laughs> yeah. It's a marmot. Oh, sorry, sorry. bud. <laughs> like Dave said, things are gonna get silly. <laughs> oh, this is like pedal strike central here too. Since we're here and people do case the crap out of this thing all the time, yeah. the key is to make the little rock double on the face here. Yeah. If you don't double that, you're probably not going fast enough to make the jump. Cool. That's good to know. I'll keep that in mind. So it's like a little bit of a wide setup on the left here. Yeah. Open it up. Uh, yep. Because the corner doesn't have the greatest touch. No. It's a very long time to go. All right. Let's see if Dave's... Uh... <laughs> Oh, get the right gear. Dave's strategy works. Wow, I feel so plush. Are you good? Do you have enough space? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Thanks. I got that pretty well. Yeah. Okay. Pretty big hole, but it yeah. Is. So now we are descending to where Bone Shaker splits off of Beba. All right. Ooh, ready. Yeah, eh? So we're now at the first filter feature of the lower half of Bone Shaker. In case you decide you don't want to do the top half and do the lower half, you're still in for uh, a little bit of a catch. Yeah. Uh, this thing hasn't been named yet. I don't think I have any suggestions. All right. Again, all these features still most most of them need names. So uh, throw, them in the comments throw the names in the comments. We'll pick the best one and give us some ideas. Yeah.
Um, that looks pretty ready right now, eh? Yeah. So Dave was saying that he likes to go on the inside line and land down here. Like through here. Yeah. But as you can see right here in the track, most people have been landing on the uh, outside of the drop, so it's been packed in. Here it's still kind of mushy, so. Um, this is the roll line over here on the outside. Yeah. Got a nice smooth transition all the way down. Cool. And then uh, you basically just let off the brakes until you get to this nice little step up here. You you want to be... Um, you want to slow down as soon as you can though. Yeah. That's for sure. This berm right here, you come into it so hot. Um, yeah, so just be sure to be cognizant of the fact that as soon as you take off from that step up, the landing's going to come up really quick and you're going to want to break. Oh yeah, side hit. <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> Nice, dude. Nah, that's gonna be a no. <laughs> there you go. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Coming into the toilet bowl, send it down the drain. So yeah, we've come up to our next feature, which is a nice big long slab. slab. Yeah. A little um, bit of a drop. A little bit of a drop at the end, but mm -hmm. rollable. So, rollable, but advisable to pull up. Wood. Yeah. Yeah. Bit um, of a step up on the other end too. Yeah. And I'll walk down just a bit. This is one you can't even like. It's not even really walkable. Ah, you don't have five tens though. No, that's true. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's like uh, Mr. Grip. So yeah, you see it kind of like rounds off here. And uh, again, if you're controlling your speed, totally rollable. Um, but if you're cooking, you just pull up off the front of this and you land down there. Big compression into a step up. Yeah, and that's... Uh, and a bit of a right left. That's how she goes, yeah. You're on your way. Oh yeah. Here we go. So we're just gonna flow out the rest of the middle section of Bone Shaker. Oh, inside line. work our way down into the lower section. Love this. So fun. <laughs> Can't beat it. Got some nice little slabs on the way out of the trail too. This one's a beauty. Be sure to control your speed to hit that burn. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Nice trail, Dave. Hey, man. <laughs> so now we're gonna come up to one of the newer features. Probably the only feature like this in the area. A little cannon. Oh, wow. Nice. Slash boner log. Yeah, here we are at uh, one of the newest features on Bone Shaker. Just got finished up. The, the stiffy. The stiffy, the, you know, take it or leave it boner log or uh, cannon log, whatever you prefer. Yeah. Um, got some nice rollers, roller berm coming in. Neither Dave or I has done this. No. Um, this is like going to be first hits for both of us. <laughs> so we're probably going to take a few run ups and uh, be sure that uh, we're making it. We're feeling OK and we're going to make it. Um, <laughs> Because neither of us want to land on each other either. <laughs> so, um, so just keep in mind yeah. when you hit something like this, you're going to lose a lot of speed on the bottom. So it's not like a regular jump that's got a nice smooth tranny where you don't feel any deceleration. You're going to feel it here. So you need to be coming in pretty hot, expecting that, and not wig out when it happens and just push through it and let it go off the end. The yeah. gap is not crazy long. It's about two bike lengths. Yeah. Maybe a tad longer. Yeah. And it's almost level the way down. Is about one foot in height down to the landing. So it, it's a pretty easy mm -hmm. jump in that sense. But it's going to feel different than a regular jump. A nice, sure. nice case pad knuckle as well too. So Very generous. As long as you're not too nose heavy. Mm -hmm. Just pull up. Yeah, pull up. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's so, like the gnarliest build I've ever done. It looks like nothing. That's the funniest part. The biggest moment ever on the NBA. Really? Like this is fine, but when you get a little harder and you look down at the way. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, that berm always scares me a little. Yeah. Yeah, I do it all the time. Unless I'm totally gassed. Which usually Trying to full pin bone shaker. Wow. Yeah. The recording, yeah, we're yeah. good. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'll let her rip. Oh, nice! Never done that! Oh, <laughs> yeah, I dead sailored it. I was too busy watching you. Oh my god. Woo. Lower bone shaker never disappoints. Sweet dude. All right, folks, so that was lower bone shaker, and now we are done. From here, you can hook on to uh, Sling, uh, slingshot, upper ridgeback. upper ridgeback, and then into slingshot. Yeah. And then that'll sort of bring you right back around to cookies or the beach or whatever. And yeah, exactly. I'll throw up a Trail Forks map uh, now. A couple fun little jumps down that way. Yeah. Um, thanks, Dave, for showing me the trail. Right, thanks for coming along, guys. Fun to see the lions. Yeah. Um, I definitely learned some stuff. <laughs> um, really fun to session the boner log for the first time, so that yeah. was pretty sick. Yeah, it works. Um, yeah, and this died. No.
<laughs> exactly. So um, yeah, that's it. So I'll uh, catch you guys out on the trail later.